Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I do hope you consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos. It's usually at least once a day, if not twice. Whenever I announce giveaways, I do have a little one going on right now. You can check out the community tab to find out how to enter. And whenever I go live. I try to go live on the 8th of every month. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have a great bi-monthly subscription that I've opened several times here on the channel. It is called Tea Pray Love. So it's kind of a tea subscription. It's kind of a bath and body subscription. It's definitely a wellness and self-care subscription and they have so many different options. So there is the Premier Box which is $39.95 plus $6.95 in shipping. When you sign up, you tell them what kind of tea you like, what your skin type is like. They also have the Petite Box for $29.95 plus shipping. But if you're more of a coffee drinker, they also have coffee options for both of those subscriptions. And if you use the code NOEL15, you can save 15%. I will leave all of the details for you in the description box below. This box was sent to me for review and I am super duper excited to see what we have inside. I always think this box is so well balanced and very, very thoughtful in terms terms of the items that they select for us. I do the coffee option because I get a lot of tea and other subscriptions and I just drink a lot more coffee. So um, I love some of the sort of quick serve versions that they've given us before. So that's been great for me when I've traveled to be able to bring really high quality coffee with me on my travels. So inside here is our little booklet that's going to tell us all about the items inside for the September box. It says, there's a little quote from Meghan Markle, the princess. It says, we just need to be kinder to ourselves. If we treated ourselves the way we treated our best friend, can you imagine how much better off we would be? And then there's a little note. It says, the world is hard enough on you already, so why beat yourself up further? Be gentle with yourself, be forgiving towards yourself, and be kinder to yourself. I love that. So this is what that looks like on the interior. So they do a nice job of kind of telling us all about the products. And then there's usually a section where it says, what's just in the premiere boxes that's not in the petite boxes and then it also gives us finally the last paragraph says what the uh, coffee selection is if you did not choose the tea selection there's also a lot of variations in this again sometimes it's depending on your skin type sometimes it's just a random assortment of things so it is a fun box to watch multiple unboxings of to see some of those varieties so we will go through it and they also include the retail values which you guys know I definitely appreciate so if you were getting the tea you would have gotten something from tea sip it says it's a returning featured tea in the premier box it had a $15.90 value and in the petite box there was a $7.95 value so I love that they kind of customize that for the box size as well so all right so we have a little bit of a foam layer and then some uh some shred in there but this looks like a little extra here so this is uh some all good things happy spritz hand sanitizing wipes um i freaking love having these and i love that we got two of them i'm wondering if this is an actual item in here i don't actually see it i think this is just a little extra which is so so nice they do that sometimes they include a couple little extra treats so yay for an extra treat it's definitely a very functional and helpful one too especially since a lot of us are starting to get out and about again these days so um i see something that's kind of wrapped up in some more of that foam so let me see if i can get into it hopefully i have my scissors handy just in case sometimes uh I appreciate when boxes are really good about taping stuff up, but sometimes it makes it a little tricky for me to get into it. If you think I could probably slide it out through the top, but it's pretty, pretty tough. All right. So, oh, I thought it was a candle, but I didn't want to speak too soon because I figured it could be like bath salts or something, but it's a candle. So it is in hazelnut latte, which is so perfect for me getting the coffee subscription. It's by Old World Apothecary Company. It is a nine ounce candle, you guys. This is a really big candle for a subscription box. Yay, yay, yay. I'm so, so excited. So this has a $13.40 value. It says Old World Apothecary is a women-owned business that specializes in herbal infused soy candles made in the 
heart of North Georgia. All of its candles are hand poured and designed upon order from its little studio. The nine ounce soy candle in the September box include, you could have gotten cinnamon chai. So I love chai, but I don't like super strong cinnamon candles and fragrances. Uh, hazelnut latte or vanilla chai. So I am super excited to get the hazelnut chai with aromas of toasted hazelnut, fresh coffee, and a touch of maple and cream. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are, oh, this is so pretty on top. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like you're going into a coffee shop. I used to love doing that. There was a coffee shop on Maui called Sir Wilfred's and I would go in there with my mom sometimes after school and it was so amazing to walk in there and I wasn't even a big coffee drinker back then. Look at the top of this, you guys. I don't think you can necessarily see all of the glitter but I will try to show you over on Instagram. This is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. Almost looks like a geode on the top because it's kind of like darker around the edges. I'm super duper excited about the candle. It's probably gonna be my favorite item in the whole box. Just saying, just saying, you know, you guys know I love the candle. Everything's really packaged in here pretty good though. Um, we have another little item in some bubble wrap. So this actually has a Tea Pray Love label on it. So this is the Tea Pray Love Tea Tonic um, Hydrating Face Oil. So love a little face oil. I actually have started to really like body oils and face oils, but I now use them in conjunction with a moisturizer, especially in the drier months. This has a $29 value. It says this is a Tea Pray Love exclusive. This hydrating face oil is designed for all skin types with only tea ingredients you can pronounce. Organic camellia oil, which is derived from the seeds of the tea plant, soothes and nourishes the skin throughout the day or night. Jojoba oil and grapeseed oil helps to bring about your best skin by balancing sebum production and reducing hyperpigmentation respectively. And last but not least, organic sunflower oil in a blend of pure anus sunflower seed oil and oh wait of pure essential oils give this tea tonic an extra boost of hydration so then it tells us all of the ingredients which is helianthus anus which is sunflower seed oil jojoba seed oil i'm not going to read all the latin names you guys because um, that'll just take too long grape seed oil and that pure blend of essential oil so i want to smell what it smells like because it doesn't say like what essential oils it is but so it doesn't necessarily smell like super strong, which is kind of nice because I, we get so many fragranced things. So I feel like for good skincare, a lot of you will probably appreciate the fact that it doesn't have a super strong fragrance, but it also like just smells kind of like, it smells like a nice hydrating oil. Like it definitely has a scent, but it smells very like natural to me. So yay. Um, this is huge. The next thing that I'm going to pull out of here, and I'm going to try to do it as delicately as I can because, you know, I like to take my photos over on Instagram. Um, this got like so smashed in here, uh, but let me see if I can kind of dust it off gently. Uh, this is huge. So this is the Dois, Dois, Dois Americanos Coffee. Look how big this bag is, you guys. So it's the predominantly down here in this yellow section, but it's this huge bag of coffee. So um, this is a breakfast blend. It's a $15 value in the Premier box, or you would have gotten a $7.49 value in the Petite box. It says Dois Americanos, meaning to, oh, Dois. Dois Americanos, maybe, I don't know where, in Portuguese, that's why I was like, it's not dos, it's dois. Dois Americanos, meaning two Americans in Portuguese, is a proud brand of the Noble Tree Specialty Coffee Roasters. From our family-run farms in Brazil, we create rich, single-origin coffees from hand-picked Arabica beans, which are roasted in small batches for quality and consistency in Red Hook, Brooklyn. Our farms, Fazenda Santa Isabel and Fazenda Monte Verde, are located in Minas Gerais. Brazil. Uh, Dois Americanos Gourmet Coffee is the culmination of passion and precision and I'm so bad at Portuguese pronunciation so uh, I apologize in advance but I think that is super duper awesome. I'm not sure if it's actually already ground or if it's full bean. It is ground which is great because I don't actually have a coffee bean grinder but I use a Kerrig. I know it's not the greatest thing but I love having pods to take with me again traveling when there's a Kerrig there but I also have the reusable pod so I do get to try my like delicious coffee I'm not like a super fancy like coffee um, maker in terms of like the slow drip and the cold brew and the everything but I do enjoy a really good coffee and that looks and sounds really good uh, so that's a great item I'm super excited that they uh, brought that huge bag to us so it's a full 
12 ounce bag. So um, then we got some little tea bags in here, which is interesting because I feel like that would only go in the tea boxes, but I guess you could technically use it honestly with the coffee grounds as well because I've definitely been seeing that a little bit more. Um, this is something from Do Calm MD Skincare. So we actually got something from them, I think, in the last Tea Pray Love. Let me see if I can pull this um, plastic wrap off of it, which, you know, yes, it's great to have like less waste, but I also, for things like this where there can be some spillage, I've been having a lot of spillage in a lot of my boxes lately, and I'm not just sure, I'm sure that some of that is because of the shipping and my post office being a little bit rough. And I think some of it is like just from the like expansion and the heat that has been happening because it's been so hot and sometimes my packages wind up sitting in the box for a little bit longer than they probably should. So I don't mind, that's the, the moral of the story is that I don't mind a little plastic wrap if it means that nothing else in the box is going to get damaged and I'm not going to experience spillage. So this is a facial cleanser. It says it's Jelly Rose and it is balancing. So let's see what it says about this. It says there's a $17 or $20 value. So there were two options. You could have gotten the Cocoa Milky Sensitive. That's the $20 value and that's for sensitive skin types. I think that I said that I have like combination skin because I don't necessarily have super sensitive skin, but I definitely have combination skin sometimes it's oily sometimes it's dry you never know so this is the jelly rose balancing cleanser it's a value of $17 it says this facial cleanser is designed to be a gentle foaming jelly with masterful blend of unique skin balancing antioxidants and plant-based extracts great for combination acne prone skin types ingredients you know and love like rose hip rose hip seed oil rich in fatty acids to boost cell regeneration ivy gourd extract that shields skin from imbalance red seaweed provides moisture and light exfoliation glycerin soothes and smooths uh, rosa damascena extract like Peen, Cramaria, Trianda Root, and China Berry Extract provide additional skin conditioning and daily antioxidant defense from environmental pollutants. So this is a really good uh, box, you guys. It's got um, so much skincare in it, and you guys know I actually really love getting skincare in, in boxes, whether they're lifestyle or beauty boxes. Um, ooh, so we got... Um, Sencha Green Tea Mints. Ooh, the flavor is very exciting. So I think there's 40 of them in here. It's pink dragon fruit. I don't know if there's any other color of dragon fruit. As far as I know, they're all hot pink, but in white on the inside. But I've had these before. They're really, really good. These Sencha um, Green Tea Mints only appeared in the Premier boxes. So it was a nice little bonus because a lot of times the main difference between the Petite boxes and the premiere boxes is the addition of like a self-help or self-care book. Um, and I don't always use all of those like books, journals, what have you. Sometimes they're a good read. If I don't use the journals, I usually pass them on. But this is kind of fun to have an extra item. It says this has a $2 value. It says now in a handy on the go packet, fight off dragon breath anywhere. Oh, with dragon fruit, cute. Flavors range from cherry blossom, which is widely celebrated. Oh, there's island guava. Ooh, that would have been really good. Or pink dragon fruit. It says we start with this lightly sweet subtropical cat cactus fruit and add a dash of natural ginger to spice things up and end with a uniquely delicious mint that is truly the stuff of legend. Oh, that's cool. So there was another example of where there was some variation. And then we have a nice sheet mask. Gotta love getting a sheet mask. This was in all the boxes. This is from Nors and it says, know your skin. So it's kind of like a blend of those three words. I guess that's how they came up with the name. It says it's the Be Kind Everyday Mask, a very simple packaging, but I kind of love that. It just kind of speaks to clean beauty. It doesn't mean it is, but you know, packaging is definitely a uh, part of your marketing, part of your branding. Um, so it says it has a $5 value, the easiest, fastest, and most effective way to be kind to your skin. Use this innovative 100% biodegradable plant-based tensile sheet mask to let your skin absorb an abundance of natural ingredients fully and completely leaving your face feeling refreshed and renewed. Who doesn't love getting a sheet mask? So we got so much in terms of skincare. We got our uh, Do Calm MD skincare facial cleanser. And again, I got it in the Jelly Rose um, balancing. And then we also got our nice uh, sheet mask. And then finally, we got our Tea Pray Love Tea Tonic Hydrating Face Oil. So definitely a lot of skin care in this box plus we got that amazing amazing candle in the coffee boxes we got that giant bag from Deutsche Americanos um, we also got the Sencha 12 uh, green tea packet and then finally the other item that did appear just in our um, premiere boxes is a book yes indeed but it looks like they gave us an extra little treat this time. 
Sometimes they have bookmarks in here, but this time this is kind of cool. They gave us a really pretty pen. So I'm guessing it's a journal because they're trying to inspire us with this really pretty silvery pen. Not usually my kind of pen, but I like, I like having that more so than like a bookmark that I may or may not use. So this is, it says the good morning journal. Oh my guys, it's another guided journal. The five minute guided reflections to start your day with inspiration, purpose, and a plan. So it's very pretty. I like the idea of journaling in the morning. I'm usually, if I'm going to journal, I'm more of a like end of the day gratitude journaler, but I can definitely um, try to work on creating better habits. And so as much as I joke about how I never do these journals, part of it is because I just get an abundance of the journals in different boxes. It doesn't mean I don't think that they're a great idea. And it doesn't mean that I don't try to discipline myself to do them. Um, I definitely notice a difference when I'm consistent about it for a while, but I just haven't found, um, I haven't been able to do the 21 days to really form a habit yet. So Maybe this will be the day. This has a value of $14.99. It says, seize the day and begin your morning routine with positivity and inspiration using this beautiful, easy to use guided journal that helps you boost productivity and make the most of each day. With this journal, you'll be able to identify your true passions, the activities, ideas, and items that mean the most to you and thoughtfully arrange your day to prioritize these passions. Start living with more purpose, accomplish your goals, achieve your dreams, and fill your days with more joy than ever. So maybe this is something that will actually work for me because I do sort of do that in the morning when I wake up I'll think about what I need to get done for the day and I actually because I'm someone who likes to cross things off I'm someone who likes to have sort of a schedule um, I'll kind of tell myself what time I want certain things to be done by um, and that's kind of what it looks like so there's a section on one side that says this morning I feel and there's uh, suggestions like calm rested there's some blanks just in case you uh, have to add to it at the end of the day I want to feel for example productive happy fulfilled um, and you kind of like like rank that I guess slightly very um, it says this morning I feel blank because blank uh, to feel blank at the end of the day I will choose to prioritize these three things uh, three things I want to accomplish today what I'll do to accomplish these goals so it's kind of a good way of setting up your day again I don't know that I will do it all the time but I probably if I just do it on the days where I feel already overwhelmed when I first wake up it might make a huge difference and then there is an actual schedule and I do love that it actually does have time so you could kind of use this as your day planner honestly if you don't already have one going it's got some nice quotes on the side uh, and then, th then you actually get to rate your day at the end from one to five stars and then it says tomorrow morning will be even better because so I love that idea of being able to kind of clean the slate and start over so I just wish that all of these beautiful journals that they create for us and that we get in so many different boxes, I wish they were spiral bound. Um, I hate uh, having like messy pages and sometimes I do really wanna just uh, start over. And so I would love a spiral bound version of one of these great guided journals so that when I want to, I can tear the page out. And um, because sometimes for me as someone who's a little bit OCD sometimes, who's a bit of a perfectionist, it's having those pages where I feel like it's not a failure, but it's just kind of messy for whatever reason that will make me abandon a journal like I, I know it's silly I know it's silly I know it's irrational I can just flip the page and it's a nice clean slate but um, for me that is something that definitely makes a difference is that ability to really clean the slate and get rid of that page if I if I just made a bunch of mistakes or I just don't want to like look back on it all right you guys so this was a great box like I said we got uh if you got the tea boxes you got one of your teas or you got this amazing coffee which I I'm just sure it's gonna be awesome. We got the candle, still my favorite item, those three skincare items, uh, and then in the premier boxes, we got this uh, five minute guided reflection. See, it would take me longer than five minutes, I think, for those reflections. Um, and then uh, also the fun tea mints, and then we also got those little wipes in there too. So good, good, good journal to try. You never know. Let me know if you're really good about journaling. If you journal at the beginning of the day or the end of the day, let me know what you thought about this box. I thought this was a really, really good one. Um, uh, the only thing that is probably missing in there is like a sweet treat because sometimes they send us really good chocolate, but I'm hoping that that happens in the cooler months. I always love getting this box and I'm so grateful that they send it to me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Check it out over on Instagram when I post photos and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.